Alright, what up y'all? It's Metaphor, back from more to Geek the Raw, representing everyone's you and I verse. We're gonna do a video on Pisces Rising, which is Capricorn in the 11th house. And the 11th house being in Capricorn, you're gonna be initiating and creating new ways of practicality and logistics upon your association, right? And with that being said, the best way to go about it with you having this Pisces Rising being mutable water and your personal life and your first impression you give off this vibe that you want to share an emotion with someone that you want to adapt to other people's emotions unless this is an emotion that you don't want to uh, associate with then you'll have this logistical practical um, ability to be able to say okay this practically doesn't make sense for my emotion you see what I'm saying so boom that's a perfect way to look at it like whenever Pisces <clears throat> is in um, an overload mode like they're in a reality and they're like, man, look, I just need to, you know, I just need some time to myself. That's them, you know, putting this structure into their association saying, okay, I want to put this association in a logical manner, right? I'm actually not this close to this individual, so I'm going to keep them in my, just my association. You see what I'm saying? But it gets even deeper. Like, if you think about you having <clears throat> all earth in your air houses, everything um, that you... Um, communicate about ends up having to make sense so it's like this is where Pisces can kind of you know um, get tripped up you think about it their seventh house being um, Virgo which is mutable earth being able to adjust other people uh, adjust and uh, adapt to other people's ways of practicality and logistics to say that if you don't actually come th come at things in a practical and logistical manner um, the things that you communicate about are going to be difficult to be understood you see what I'm saying so if you don't become the boss of your association and say, look, these are the emotions that I want to associate with in my personal life. You see what I'm saying? You associate in that 11th house and that first house, right? Your 11th house being your association, your first house being your personal life and how you are, um, you know, when you're uh, by yourself or to say that you're in your own space, right? That's your first house. Um, another way to look at this would be uh, to say that if you put all of your associations into a practical manner, like to say, okay, um, these are people that actually, this is a group of people, I mean, to say that I associate with being a, like if I'm Pisces rising, as example, I want to be in a group that I can associate my emotions with, right? That I'm not, it's not going to be too heavy, it's not going to be too, um, too, it's not going to make it too muddy, right? To say, like, you don't want this sextile to be um, giving you the ability to be kind of sludgy and bring in too much to a circumstance. Like to say, if you're in this 11th house association, like to say that your group is a therapist, right? Maybe a Pisces could be a very good therapist, right? Because they can associate, I mean, I'm sorry, they can adapt to other people's emotions, right? And with that, they can have this group of therapists to say, like, look, we can bring our practical um, practical and logistic, uh, logistical ways of bringing a new, bringing this new way of, uh, dealing with this associate, uh, dealing with these individuals that we, you know, um, do therapy for, then we can actually advance this and say that, okay, we can structure this and bring this practical, practical and logistical manner to this group of people that we associate with as therapists. You see what I'm saying? So, um, that's one way that you can utilize your uh, ability to ad adapt to other people's emotions in your um, in, a, in a beneficial manner. And to say, if you don't already have this association, say you are don't already know you want to be a therapist, right? Say you um, are trying to kind of find your group that you want to associate with. You know, you you're not really sure that you actually fit in with the other therapists, right? So maybe. Um, you're looking for that group that you want to, you know, actually be a part of. And the key to that is get with people that actually um, give you the ability to express your emotion, right? It's not going to be too much. You're not going to be forcing anything, trying to um, adapt to other people's emotions and say, like, yeah, I, I can understand that feeling when you really don't. You got to you gotta be with people that truly are on the same wavelength as you, have the same... Um, they want to have that same smooth waters, you know what I mean? Like that, That's what Pisces is kind of all about. You want to be with people that um, don't bring 
it too deep and dark into a circumstance, but can also bring you up, you know what I mean, and keep you light as well. It's like um, Pisces can kind of get lost sometimes. So it's like to say you want to have people that can keep you on this um, logistical uh, plane of existence. It's like to say you want to be with people that can actually make sense of out of your emotions and the things that you communicate about. So that's really the key um, to being Pisces rising if you're trying to find your group. So you want to be with people that can actually comprehend where you're coming from. You see what I'm saying? And have that same kind of emotional range that you have as well. So yeah, like I said, therapist is a great example. And you come into a, um, a yearly therapy group or something like that that's like, oh, okay, we all get together to actually um, further this, this uh, profession of therapy and helping people out with their thoughts and feelings. So yeah, it's a great way to look at it um, if, if you're uh, trying to figure, you know what I mean, which one you want to be a part of. Do you want to be a part of a group or do you just want to stick to your own personal life? So yeah, um, uh, let's see, you could put Jupiter in your 11th house. I like to use kind of the planet that goes along with the sign. So if you think about Jupiter being in your 11th house with Capricorn, you're gonna, it's going to be debilitated here, your Jupiter's going to be debilitated, but it's going to be an expansion of this practical and logistical nature that you um, initiate and create, right? So every time that you go into your association, you're going to expand um, your group of associates if you're able to structure them. You see what I'm saying? So Jupiter brings expansion, uh, knowledge, and wisdom. If you can bring this knowledge and wisdom to this group, then you're going to do real well as this Pisces rising because you're going to be able to make sense of it and be able to build like that Capricorn does with Saturn. You see what I mean? And like I say, with Jupiter being here in your 11th house, it's going to be an expansion of your associated, your expanding your groups. So yeah, um, it's a good way to look at it. You know, you can really put this in any aspect. You can put any planet here and break down the influence of the planet, and then you can actually put that into the group or associative aspect. So yeah, um, much love. Uh, holla at me at conscious1347 at gmail.com. That's C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S 1347 at gmail.com. And uh, you can get a reading from me, you know what I'm saying? Rico might just be in the video, might not. You know, it's like kind of like a pop out, pop in kind of thing. It's kind of his thing to do. You know, he join whenever he want to join. So uh, much love to y'all. Have a good one.